another good episode of Moon Knight. First of all, was that um, Avatar, the African one, was she the av Avatar for the Black Panther God? Because there's rumors that we will see more about that. But only time will tell. But I have felt, I had that Eternals kind of vibe when they all came together in the tomb. Um, I like the little backstory, Layla, little backstory right there, the fight scene in that little party place, whatever that was. That was pretty dope. Um, in turn, we seen Steven actually switching up the things. Like, he was the one that actually was helping, that he needed him, unlike Mark. And did we get an indication of a third personality? Because when he killed those guys, Steven's like, yo, that wasn't me. And Mark said, that wasn't me either. So, a third personality may be showing up. But the guards are so, you know, dumb. They fall for the okie doke, so to speak. Um, you see off the saying this and they believe in it. And, it, and then you're going to have rude awakening when he actually gets to what he wanted to do. And they should have listened to Mark a long time ago. And um, Conchu, that was really good um, as well. And that whole scene when they turned the stars, flipped it backwards and, and reversed time multiverse and kind of stuff with Doctor Strange. That was pretty dope, too. But, man, this series has been off the chain. Three episodes. You got three episodes to go. I heard, like I said, nobody saw a fifth or sixth episode. So, after this episode next week, it might go bonkers um, on um, five and six. And who's following them in the desert? Can it be another version of, you know, not S.H.I.E.L.D., but, you know, the Sky version of S.H.I.E.L.D.? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, um, but, yo, another good episode. Can't wait till next week. And, you know, really good job. And Kevin Feige, we trust.